During our session on the full swing, we focused primarily on the driver. In the beginning of this session, you were hitting your uh, hybrid or, or seven wood, I can't remember right now, um, just to get loose and warmed up. Before I talk about the driver swing and the changes we made there, I want to point out a couple things I like about your approach shot swing. This was the first swing you made during the initial warm up, and I want to focus on how good your follow through is, and more importantly, how long you hold your follow through. That's a really strong fundamental to be able to hold your finish. This was the second swing that you took during your warm up, and I want to point out a difference between this second swing and the first swing. On the left was your first swing, and I've stopped it in the same position as your second swing on the right. On the left, you let your head and eyes swing with the club, and on the right, you hold your head down too long. The correct finish is to finish with your eyes looking over your right arm out into the target. Here's one of your driver swings in which you had that good finish looking over your right arm. Very good. This was another one of your driver swings in which you tried to keep your head down too long. Your most natural and fundamentally sound swing will be the one where you just swing and finish with a nice pose. Let's experiment a little bit. set up with the ball a little bit more to your left side. You have a tendency, here it is, this club was built and designed to rest on the ground just like that. You have a tendency to want to curl, okay? Now that would be understandable if your missus was over there, but it's your missus are over here. It may be simply because of that. And I certainly want to investigate that possibility. So I would rather you be able to look down and see that loft on the face and not try to make it a straight face. Okay? So you're going to set up more like this instead of like this. You're going to back up a little bit. And you're going to try to hold it up to swing. That'll reduce the backspin. This is Paula Creamer, and you can see how she has that ball position off your left foot for the driver. Sandra Gall, ball on left side, hands behind the golf ball. Lydia Coe, ball on left side, hands behind the golf ball. One of the things that we changed with your driver is that we uh, moved your ball position more to your left foot. On the left was the old ball position, and on the right was your new ball position. So we moved the ball a little bit more forward in your stance. That allows you to swing up on the golf ball. You can see on the left how your hands are in front of the golf ball, and that promotes a downward hit. But on the right, your hands are behind the golf ball, promoting an upward swing. Notice as you uh, set up to this one how you are trying to find the right position for your arms. And you had a tendency to have bent elbows in your setup. But you started working on it on your own and you started feeling a little bit more extended in the arms, which is better. One of the things you did there on your own, which is one of the things I was going to talk about. So let's just continue to set up more dynamically with that extension. Now you can swing more aggressively through it. Just swish it like that, like you're swatting a bean. That was a good one. So with the driver, the main thing I changed was your setup. I moved the ball more to your left foot. I wanted you to tee it higher. I wanted you to get your hands behind the golf ball. I wanted you to have an extension in your arms. Also, when you set up, I wanted you to make sure you let the driver heads lay flat on the ground so that the loft of the club is exposed and you're not curling it over. 
And then the only thing we did with the swing is free it up and had you do some of those uh, swish drills because so, sometimes you did get a little tight. Uh, on the finish, I want you to continue to finish with that nice pose, eyes looking over the right arm.